Welcome to the Solid Rock Cafe. My name is Mike Dacey, and I invented rock and roll. I went out to Hollywood to be the star. I had a beat up M and a Fender guitar. My guest today is Mr. David Gentile. He is an itinerant worship leader, which means he goes from town to town, church to church, much like the circuit riders at the turn of the century, bringing the gospel of praise and worship to God's people. He said, Pray for your mercy, do it forever. For your mercy you do for in the book of John chapter 4 verse 23 it's in red letters which means Jesus is talking to us and he said the hour is coming and now is when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. Pray, Lord, for your mercy do forever. So now if you join me in welcoming Mr. David Gentiles. Welcome, David. Welcome, brother. Thanks to be here. Good to be here. It is good to have you here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I had the honor and pleasure of uh, witnessing what he, what this man does uh, in churches, and uh, he brings him into the presence of God, which is the purpose. Mm -hmm. And uh, would you bless us with some of your music, please? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, this song is called "Faithful God," and it's uh, from Psalm 92. You know we're. The psalmist says, in the morning, I will sing of his steadfast love, and in the evening, I will sing of his faithfulness. So. Hallelujah.
faithful God you've been so good to me and your gracious hand has provided every need you've kept me safe and you've lit my way your faithfulness your loving kindness and gracious god today i've surely sinned and oh gracious god in Christ I am forgiven and all praise the Son and he is overcome oh your faithfulness your loving kindness Faithful God, you're with me to the end. And tomorrow's sun is under your command. And one day you'll call, and with heaven's throng, sing faithfulness your loving kindness oh your faithfulness your loving kindness Faithful God, faithful God. Hallelujah. Praise God, brother. Appreciate it. He is faithful. He is for you. Definitely. To all generations. Yeah, every song worships something. Even if it's not a Christian song, uh, every song elevates something in the heart of a person. And music is designed to teach us. See, so we learn from what we yeah. hear over and over. Absolutely. And we don't listen to anything more than our music. Well, that's very true. That's why scripture songs and songs of God's truth are so important. Because oh, yeah. when the melody is married to a biblical truth, it gets in our mind and our heart oh, yeah. and transforms us. It's like sculpting with gold. Whatever you do has that's value. Very, that's, very, that's very true. Bless us with another song, my brother. You bet, you bet. Well, this one of the things that God's been putting on my heart lately for the church and for worshipers is preparation, much like the, uh, the baptizer John. He would say, prepare the way of the Lord, right? And right. so even in worship, we don't flippantly enter into God's presence, but we do so with fear, with trembling. And, and we prepare for God to move in our hearts. And so this is a little, just a little short worship song called Prepare. Yeah. It goes like this. We prepare the way for you to come and move among us. Will you draw our hearts and calm our fears oh how we know that you're for you we will look to the cross for forgiveness of sins we will look to your scriptures for real truth we'll acknowledge your spirit as you move us and shake us we love you Oh, we need you. 
and we prepare the way for you to come and move among us. Will you draw our hearts and calm our fears? Oh, how we know that you're for real. We will look to the cross. We will look to the cross for forgiveness of sins. We will look to your scriptures for real truth. We'll acknowledge your spirit as you move us and shake us. We love you. Oh, we need you. And we prepare the way for you to come and move among us. Sometimes when you're planting a garden, there's a the soil has to be prepared. Yeah. Sometimes there's some weeds to be pulled. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Sometimes there's some old rooted stuff. You bet. And the human heart is the garden of God's word. And That's right. preparing the soil is an amazing, amazingly important part of the process. What else do you have for us, brother? Yeah, this next song is called A God of Heaven, and it's, um, it's actually a very new song. This song was, is only like a couple of months old, oh. and um, we've been, I do a lot of stuff with, with students, and so we go to churches and doing student ministry and all that kind of stuff. So we've been leading this song in our worship services, and uh, it's just been incredible to see how God's been using it, and it's just a cry for revival and for awakening in our hearts, and so it's called God of Heaven. stars captivate our hearts you satisfy set our lives ablaze with passion for your name we glorify here we are here we stand with open hearts and lifted hands oh god of heaven let your spirit fall on us fall on us oh god of heaven let your kingdom come to us come to us Arise, offering of your bride, we bless your name. Awake our souls to sing the greatest melody of truth and grace. And here we are, and here we stand with open hearts. Lifted hands, oh God of heaven, let your spirit fall on us, fall on us, oh God of heaven, let your kingdom come to us, oh come to us, breathe fresh on us. With your love, revival come, revival come, oh, breathe the 
flash on us Oh, move us with your love Revival, come Revival, come God of heaven Let your spirit fall on us Fall on us Oh, God of heaven Let your key Come to us, come to us. Hallelujah. Sing it, pray. You, Lord, for your mercy endures forever. In the book of Chronicles, Jehosh Jehoshaphat getting ready to go to war, and uh, he was he was nervous. In fact, it says he was. Afraid. He was afraid because he got a bad report. You know, we all get a bad report now and then. Yes, Catch us off guard. Most every day. <laughs> Most every day. Doctors and lawyers and Indian chiefs. And uh, he'd actually disobeyed God. I don't know, none of the rest of us. Or guilty of that, but every now and then we miss it and and open the door for the enemy to get something in there. So he's out number three to one. So he set himself to fasting. You want to get rid of fear, just fast. Fear hates not eating. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so he set himself to fast. He got everybody fasting. And they they got on their face and sought the Lord. And God said, Don't worry about it. He said, you're not going to have to fight. You're not going to have to fight in this battle. Je Jesus won all our battles. All we got to do is plug into the victory. That's right. Yeah. And so what they did is they selected the singers and the worshipers. And they put them in front of the army. And they sang, praise you, Lord. For your mercy endures forever and ever more. They said, praise you, Lord, for your mercy endures forever. They applied a spiritual solution to a natural, a natural problem. Yeah. And then in the New Testament, there was a guy named uh, Paul. <laughs> B flat. <laughs> Paul and Silas went walking down the road, healing the sick, and they cast the devil out of a woman and got busted for it. <laughs> And the Bible says, Paul cast the devil out of that woman because she was annoying. Hmm. She didn't ask to be delivered. Hmm. About the third day of her annoyance, he said, come out of her, bless God. And that was that. Yeah. And they ended up in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the story, it's in Acts 16. They took all, it's not like these country club jails around here. This is, this is a nasty place. They're in the worst part of it. Chained up, beaten till they bled, clothes ripped off. And they sang, praise you, Lord, for your mercy endures forever and evermore. 
that they sang praise you. Same song that the children of Israel sang. And every cell door come open. Jailer was going to kill himself. He took out his knife. <laughs> Paul said, Be cool. <laughs> Everything's cool. Nobody left. Yeah, right. All the other prisoners, you know, the fallen, all the cell doors come up. You think somebody would walk. Yeah, you're right. Right. And uh, they went home with that jailer. Got him and his whole house right. saved. Yeah. Be All because somebody sang praise unto God. Yeah. Not in church. They were not in church, mama. They were on the street. You can sing praise God in Walmart if some mental social ill is attacking your brain. Get free. That's right. And then they went back and got in jail so the jailer wouldn't be in trouble. Mm. Man, that's, 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 that's love. That's love. That's <laughs> that is kindness. the love of God. Yeah. Listen, man, uh, I know I didn't ask you to do a whole bunch of songs, but would you sing another song for us? Sure, yeah. And then we'll yeah. talk about what you're doing some more. Um, man, let's do... Um, Psalm 63 says, Your love satisfies my soul. Go. And uh, so... Your love satisfies my soul Oh, it moves men and makes me whole Oh, God, you are my God, I seek you My flesh faints for you in a dry and weary land with no water my soul thirst for you oh god your love satisfies my soul with movements and makes me whole i rest in the shadow of your wings your hand upholds me when those seek to destroy me my soul rests in you oh god your love satisfies my soul with movements and makes me whole Oh God, your love satisfies my soul with movements and makes me whole. Oh God, your love satisfies my soul with movements and makes me whole. sitting out there and all this doesn't make any sense to you because you don't know Jesus. You can take this opportunity right now. David's going to pray a prayer. And I invite you to use this prayer to open up your heart and receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says if you believe it in your heart and you speak it with the mouth, with the heart you believe and with the mouth you confess that Jesus is Lord. 
praise you, Lord, for your mercy to forever, forever and ever. Praise you, Lord, for your mercy. Go ahead, David. If you'd like to pray with me, please do. Lord, I thank you for each person that um, just has been watching and listening. And Lord, I pray that um, you would just affirm in their hearts that they're hearing your voice speak. And um, Lord, as they echo these words, I pray that you would hear their prayer. Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as the one true God, the Son of God that you lived a perfect life, expressed the heart of God to me. I believe in my heart that you died on the cross for my sin and that you rose again on the third day, defeating death so that I might have eternal life with you forever. I, I agree with that. I confess that with my mouth and receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Receive your Holy Spirit as a seal. I thank you, Lord, for saving me, for granting me a relationship with you and life forever in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So I cherish your brother's cross. Till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross. I will exchange it.